Yeah, hello. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Shred Machine. Uh, glad that you tuned in again. Uh, today we're going to continue with our uh, quest for memorizing the uh, pentatonic scale uh, in all of its uh, five positions. And today going to be an episode without guitar. Because, um, yeah, memorizing is about your head, about your brain, about your memory. That's why it's called memorizing and not fingerizing. So what I want to do today with you is, uh, yeah, looking at, at a different technique how to, uh, to memorize those, those patterns or those, those positions. Uh, yeah, now what I'd like you to, to do is actually uh, grab a piece of paper and a pen, something like that, checkerboard or something. Because as uh, convenient as YouTube videos are, uh, if you watch them and you download your, your videos or you have your patterns and positions uh, laid out on the, on the screen for you, ready to play, uh, or you can ex actually download them or there's apps to uh, where you have all of these scales, uh, patterns, etc, etc. But a major part of memorizing as well is that you actually do it by yourself. That you really take a piece of pen, uh, <laughs> a piece of pen, take a piece of paper, take a pen and uh, write them down for yourself because writing it down yourself also helps your mind connecting uh, and repeating uh, the topics that you've learned already. So I have a little bit prepared for you just to, to give you an idea um, what I want you to do actually. When you look at this, this is basically my guitar notebook. So these are the things that I write down for myself. Um, and you can see here, uh, yeah, these are the first two positions actually of the minor pentatonic scale written down. You can see um, I, I draw, I drew the, uh, the checkerboards myself, etc, etc. This is how you want to do it. You can see it here um, that I just wrote down the numbers on the frets, um, but also in the, in, the, in the same pattern as it would be laid out on the, on the guitar fretboard. Or you can do it that way, just like the standard way that you have your grid and then you draw the, the dots in the grid. That's up to you. And remember, I mean, this is like a, like your personal notebook. This is really your personal preference, which way you want to, uh, to note that down. But I'd really like to encourage you to, uh, to take the time and to do that. Yeah, write it down yourself once you played it. Um, we've done that in the, in the first two episodes. Go through them again, step by step. And write them down yourself, even though they've been already like uh, ready-made for you on the internet, ready to download. Yeah? So my personal advice to you, if you want to get a little bit further and uh, train your mind as well to memorize it, not just your fingers, um, it's a good thing to do. So what I've done here actually is I've written them down so that you can see them directly. Um, how they inter interlock or interlink with each other. So when you look at the, um, especially at the numbers that I've written down here, then you can see that the first pattern uh, starts basically, <coughs> sorry, uh, starts uh, no, from the bottom, sorry. Uh, first pattern starts five, 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 five. Yeah. And then the second part of the pattern is eight, seven, 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 eight, eight. Yeah. And if you now look at the uh, second position, the second position starts as well with eight, seven, 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 eight, eight. And then you complete uh, this part here, which then would be like um, 10, 10, 10, 9, 10, 10. So, and if you look now to the third position, I don't, uh, I haven't completed it completely because that's up to you. Um, it starts again with 10, 10, 10. And when you, when you look, from the second position, you can guess yourself how it will continue here. And the only thing that you have to do is basically complete um, the second half of the, of the third position. <clears throat> and then you take that one, copy it over, yeah, and then you complete the fourth position. And you go further with the fifth position as well. So, relatively 
simple or easy concept, but uh, it makes more sense when, you, as I said uh, already, it makes more sense when you when you do it yourself rather than uh, I show you or somebody else on YouTube or on the internet shows you. It's it's uh, it's something that that you that you have to experience yourself, and then it's it helps you more and makes it quicker for you to uh, to incorporate that. Yeah? So when you're playing as well, like for your, that's for the fingers and uh, the this exercise. It's for your mind. So highly encourage you. Take your own personal guitar notebook. As I said, it doesn't matter how it looks. Um, can be as silly as anything as long as it makes sense to you. And uh, don't bother about it. So um, I hope it's okay for you as well when you look at that. Um, that's the most important part. Yeah? That it makes sense for you and that you can recognize it again when you, when you look at it. Um, at the later stage. So this was it for today's episode. It was pretty short. Hope you uh, found this beneficial. Um, yeah, like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have questions. Uh, I will answer them. And uh, stay tuned and hope to see you next time. So long.